Hey guys, so I decided to create a raw and fresh clip today and it's going to be about living your life in your 20s or your 30s or your 40s. And this is really important for anyone watching because I know we all struggle with the way people may perceive us or feeling like a lack of efficiency or productivity. But in reality, we are being productive in that journey of finding what may be um, productive. If you just laid in your bed and didn't move for years, that may even have a purpose as well. Um, if you ask God to help you and assist you, he's always there. He's always listening. So there is purpose in pain. There is purpose in feeling like nothing is going on or unproductivity. And it's really important to mention that sometimes productivity is doing absolutely nothing or being depressed or reading a book or taking time off of work, having your money slow down or just a lot of things do have a purpose. Now, if you let certain things defeat you and you start to feed the wolf that inside of you that is negative and disgusting and mean and angry, then that's when it becomes dangerous. But if you use all of these moments to feed the part of you that is patient and joyful and gentle and loving and graceful and use these times to find joy and positivity in whatever is going on, then you are very likely to succeed within your life and you will be doing well no matter what is in the bank account. Something else that I really like to mention is this. In my life, I have found, I've had several different jobs. And I remember being on the phone and people would always say, you can't just quit something and then just do something else. Like, why are you doing this? And then people at my job would make me feel like an absolute idiot for it. Um, I would quit different teams and I would quit certain things. And, you know, obviously some t to some extent that can be negative if it's because of lack of discipline or a lack of diligence or... It can be sometimes people put themselves in positions where they say they want to do something and then they find out that it's actually not beneficial for them or anyone around them. And they continue to stay in it just because they said that they were going to. So the power of the tongue is very powerful. If you say you're going to do something, <laughs> just don't say anything at all. Like I never make promises or anything like that because... I'm like, I don't know the future. And if it's not going to be beneficial, then it's not going to work. It's the same thing when you're dating someone. You're like, you can never promise them that you're going to marry them or you promise them that you'll be in their life for the rest of your life because then you just immediately stop your own growth. So you got to make sure you're careful of what you speak. But in addition to, as I was saying, you know, having positions and different things and finding out what I like, I'll say, no, this isn't for me. And I was reading a book by Robert Greene, the guy who wrote 48 Laws of Power, and he was discussing how he's had several different jobs from being very sophisticated in corporation jobs and going all the way overseas to just be a tourist, uh, or I'm sorry, a tour guide. And he was explaining how he just did all these random different things. And then he became a writer and he always loved writing, but he just didn't see it as something that would make him any money. And I almost feel like I'm in a similar position I've had positions where I've made a great amount of money, like great amount of money. And I've also had positions where I'm not making anything, but I also feel like more in purpose. So it's interesting too, because it's like, sometimes it'll go up and down, up and down. And I don't even feel like I've been alive long enough to experience the wealth that could come with working on something that is so purposeful. Um, but if you're in a position and you're looking for different jobs and trying different things you should be trying different things all the time and never ever stop if you find you don't like something then don't do it don't feel bad for not continuing in something if you find out you don't want to be a surgeon don't be a surgeon anymore <laughs> and I mean don't want to as in like it's just so out of your purpose and maybe you're like oh wait a minute I'm 45 years old and this is something that I want to do and sometimes things are seasonal Sometimes God wants us to be in these job positions for two years and then he wants us to do something else and he, then he wants to do something else as we grow and as we learn about ourselves 
we're able to provide more value to the world around us. And if we stay stagnant and we don't grow and we don't allow ourselves to go on to the next thing, then that's when it's dangerous. Um, that's when we end up not helping people. That's when it's selfish because I was in a therapy session and I was telling her like, you know, sometimes I feel kind of weird like staying in this position and she's like, well, that's selfish to yourself and it's selfish to other people. I'm going to explain this because if you have a value, usually when you're in purpose, it's aligned with like your desires and you, what you're really good at naturally. And it usually it, it will bring value to other people. And when you don't do that and you stop yourself just because you want to care what other people think of you or you're nervous about the security or whatever it may be. If you stop yourself from doing that, imagine how the world is just going to stop. And they're like, imagine life without these motivational speakers. Imagine life without um, these people who help help bring so many things to us. Like, um, what's his name? I forget anything. Like Elon Musk. What if we didn't have like a Nikola Tesla? What if we didn't have people like that? What if we didn't have people like Albert Einstein and they just wanted to like care what people thought about them and just like, what if Albert Einstein just decided to be a chemistry teacher and make $250,000 a year, right? And he was rich, but he didn't pursue what he was supposed to do. Imagine how that would affect everyone. And God made everyone with such a deep purpose. And I think people forget about how important they are as human beings. Like your life is so precious. You existing, the time that God molded you for the nine months in your mom's stomach is so precious and so valuable. Do not waste your life on money, on simple pleasures. Like your life has so much value. And these teachers, these motivators, these builders, these writers, these doctors, these lawyers, these people who fight for um, justice, like, we need you people, like we need all of you and whatever it is that is in your passion and in align with that, please pursue it. Don't let anything stop you. If you are at a job right now or you're doing something that feels off, okay, maybe you wanna still have that money, maybe you have some bills you have to pay for, fine, but work on it. Work on whatever it is that you should be doing. Don't stop ever. I hope that you guys like this video and I hope it was motivational to you guys because I just realized some things in my personal life and I was praying to God and I, I felt, I was like, God, I've been out of work for a month and I literally just hear him saying to me, he's like, why do you think you're here? And I'm like, you know how he asks those questions? <laughs> and I'm like, I feel so like out of birth. I feel like I'm not doing anything. He was like, just because you're not working, you feel like you're not, like you're saying you're not doing anything. Like you are doing something. You're figuring, you're figuring these things out and you're doing a lot of work on what you need to be doing that's aligned with what I want you to do. And it kind of hit me, I'm like, oh, I am being productive right now. Like just thinking about everything that I've been doing and the thoughts and the time that I've had to focus on the value that I want to bring to the world, that is in purpose. Like why would I not feel like that's not purpose because I'm not making money. He's like, and I, did I not provide you enough savings to do that? And I'm like, oh shoot. <laughs> And I'm just thinking about everything he's saying and I'm like, wow, like it's such a, it's such a beautiful thing. And let me just say this to anyone watching. God is here. He is alive. He's not like some, some thing that just like floats around. Like he talks, he cries, he loves, he's merciful and he's always listening. And I'm going to share a personal story just really quick. I want to make this a quick video, but I was in my car one day and I was praying a lot and at this time, I never, like, I've seen some, like, ghosts or whatever, but this type of spiritual interaction I had with God was so crazy, and it was so beautiful, and I experienced it, like, four years ago, and I felt the Holy Spirit, and it was the craziest, I don't want to say craziest, but it was the most powerful thing that I've ever felt, and I think it's, it's really, like, I can't really explain that story to anybody because it's so personal, and it's, like, I don't know how to explain that to anybody, but God has been there for me through so much. And he's, it's so nice to have him to help you and guide you. So don't forget that God, you have a father in heaven who wants to help you and to guide you. So if you're struggling, just like, please just call out to him. Like he's always there, he loves us. And to get even deeper, um, I'm not gonna get too deep, but that's pretty much it. I hope you like and subscribe and 
Let me know what you guys think. Bye.